Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this morning. Lord, we thank you for our lives. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the hope that we have in you. We thank you that you continually meet us, that you're continually dwelling within us, Lord. We just thank you that we have spiritual strength, Lord, because of the Holy Spirit, because of everything you've done for us and have revealed to us. Today we're reading through Ephesians 3, starting from verse 14 and finishing at verse 21. It reads, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, He may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, we just thank you for that wonderful scripture, Lord, and for the revelation that you give us, Lord, about who you are and about who we are. Lord, we thank you that you are our Father who is in heaven. Lord, who is above all things, who is the creator God, Lord. We thank you for that position. We thank you for that position that you are. Lord, we also thank you, Lord, for the creation that we are, that you've created for your pleasure and for your glory. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that there's nothing that's a secret. There's nothing that you don't know. Lord, you know every single family in heaven and on earth, every single person. No one's a surprise no one is unaccounted for everybody is known specifically by you whether or not they choose to acknowledge you or not lord and lord we just thank you that as your believers lord you're calling us to understand the power that is within our inner being lord the holy spirit wow lord thank you for placing your holy spirit the spirit of the living god your power your wind lord within us lord Lord, you dwell within our inner being. Lord, we sometimes say that we want the Holy Spirit to fall on us, Lord, but we also need to remember that the Holy Spirit dwells within us. Yes, Lord, would we be strengthened with the power that you've already put in us? Would we be able to activate the power of the Holy Spirit that's already in us? It's in our inner being. Oh, Lord, help us to locate you, Lord. Help us to locate you in our bodies, Lord, and to understand that you're deep in us, Lord. You're not far. You're present, Lord. We can call on you any time, any moment, any day, any hour, Lord. And we can just say, Holy Spirit, make yourself known. Make yourself known in my life. Holy Spirit, show me what to do. Holy Spirit, show me where to go, what to say. Lord, would we depend completely on you today, Lord God? Would you help us to be dependent, not independent, but dependent on you? And Lord, we just thank you that you're showing us here, Lord, that it's your love. It's the love that you have for all of mankind, that you have for all your children. That is what we're supposed to lean on. Oh Lord, would you help us to understand the depth of that love? Lord, where we may have been lacking in earthly love, Lord, maybe we we haven't felt all the love we should have from our parents or from our friends and family or from our colleagues or from those around us our community lord but lord where there is a lack of love or lack of a deficit in the lives that we've experienced in terms of love lord help that not to be our measuring stick to put you in that and think that okay because we haven't experienced love like we thought we should that's how you love no lord help us to use our our inner being to discern the love that you give Lord God help us to see beyond our circumstances and our experience to understand that you blow the lid of every idea of every understanding of our love Lord that your love is so magnificent Lord 
it is amazing lord your love is beyond beyond comprehension lord and lord it says here that we can't even try to begin to understand the breadth and the length and the height and the depth of that love because it surpasses knowledge to know the love of christ surpasses all knowledge lord we thank you that you fill us with that love every day lord your love is abundant your love is overflowing so lord let us do as you've called us to hear to do let us put aside our own thoughts put aside our own limitations and look to the power at work within us look to your power look to your power lord lord we thank you that you definitely are able to do more than we can ever imagine ask or think lord lord our small minds can't even comprehend what you can do but lord help us today help us to see beyond our situation see beyond the limitations in our mind lord blow our minds of your love today show us show us your glory lord show us your power and lord help that to emanate through all our lives all the people we touch through our generations and through our communities and this world lord lord we thank you lord that we can change the world because you have given us the capacity to do that lord help us not to sit on our laurels but instead to rely on this wonderful love lord this wonderful power of your holy spirit that is able to do abundantly more than we ask or think in jesus name i've prayed amen